be making bases. What's going on YouTube? It's your man Ever J Music, owner of Beat Making Basics, and I'm back again with another dope video. If you are new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe and hit the bell notification so you know when I'm gonna post and hit the like button and leave a comment for me. All right. So look, what we're gonna do is get into how to make your 808s bang with stock plugins and with waves plugins, okay? Two different ways you could do it, whether you have, you know, the pay, you know, like, you know, upgraded plugins or not. I'm gonna show you how to do it. Okay, so let's jump into it. I got a basic drum pattern in here. I'm just gonna let you hear it. All right, so basic drum pattern. Now the 808 actually already sounds pretty good, but if you really want it to rumble, if you're new to beat making and new to you know how to do this this is going to be a good tip right here and the first thing to do is to add a distortion to that 808 so what we'll do is we'll go over here to our plugins we're going to use stock plugins for this come down to distortion and now let's listen to the 808 i'm going to turn it down just a little bit All right, so as you can see, really just putting the basic stock uh, distortion on here, not even messing with any of the knobs, you know, it already sounds better. I'm gonna play it before and after. That's before, this is after. So if you want it to sound a little more stronger than that, what you could do is go ahead and pull the drive up and you can even mess with the tone, bring that down some. Let's listen to it now. All right, so that's one way you could do this. Another thing you could do is, is say if it's really coming in low is you could do something called parallel compression. That's where you're going to go to your uh, sins, go to an empty bus and create a uh, auxiliary track here and then put a compressor on it. So we'll go to dynamics, compressor, boom, put stereo. And then what you want to do is you want to throw the, the threshold kind of low like this, uh, ratio a little high attack quick and let's listen to that before and after that's before turn that up and if we mute both of those things we just did you'll see, you'll hear the difference All right, so that's the way you can do this with stock plugins, one using parallel compression and two using a distortion. Now I'm gonna show you a quick way to do this without using stock plugins, okay? So what we're gonna do is turn that off. I actually already have a preset going here and I'm just gonna show you the plugins I use. All right, so one of the first things I'm gonna show you is this other distortion. It's of course another distortion, but it's called the Saucy Distortion. Um, I'll let you listen to it before and after. Okay, now listen to, listen to it with this one. It's a little, it's a little, um, it's pretty good. I like how it sounds. It's clean. They have different options here. Another thing that you can do is put this R bass on there. Okay, and I went ahead and used a preset for this. Uh, Pensado kick low. Okay, you can just go to load and you can find the preset there under Pensado. 
All right. But essentially what you're doing is you're bringing the frequencies down in the 40 range and you're bringing up the intensity uh, a little past zero. OK, that's a, basically what you're doing, bringing the gain down some. OK, so now let's listen to it with the saucy and with that uh, R bass on it. Now that just came through a whole lot better. Now another thing you can do is add a smack attack on there and they have this preset called 808 snapper. Um, you can go to load drums and it's all the way down there. I'm gonna turn it on. And you can kind of hear like with the with the better plugins, it sounds a little smoother, a little cleaner, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna play it again without this smack attack and with the smack attack, just without. Hitting pretty hard. This adds a little more rumble to it. All right, so let me just kind of play this again. And this is this is just the 808 alone. Listen how 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 nice that sounds compared to how it sounded dry. You know what I mean? Obviously, you can turn that 808 up. It's gonna sound lower, but the you know the real rumble that you're gonna be looking for in your beats is gonna be done by using these different. Uh, plugins, whether you use stock plugins or whether you use Waves plugins, this is how you make the uh, 808s bang. My name is Ever J Music. Thank you for watching. I'll holler at y'all on the next one.